everyone, Allison here, also known as Lasan Fay, and today I am here with a new plan with me video. Not for a month, not for a week, not for a new setup, but for the spring quarter of my school year. Um, my school does run on the quarter system, and I know I'm not alone there with all the bullet journalers out on YouTube, but I regularly only see um, school setup videos in regards to um, semester system schools, and so I thought I would give a huge shout out to everyone else who's like me and is on a quarter system. Um, as a bit of a background, um, heads up, I am not an undergraduate, I'm a graduate student, I'm going for my PhD, and so I have a few less assignments than what I usually would um, as an undergrad, um, and so like my setup I know really works for me, and it's actually a little bit too much space for me um, most of the time, but I think it'd be easy to extend it to include um, undergraduate needs as well. So um, I'm just going to dive in and get started on everything.
So that is all I need um, to set up for my spring term. And so I just wanna go over real quick everything that I do. So the first page here is my assignment and event tracker. And it the setup here is based off of the Alistair method of future planning. Um, and so each of the numbers up here in the finals um, phrase there, represent the different weeks in the term. I am I know for a fact that my term is 10 weeks long, and at the end of those 10 weeks, I then have a finals week right after that. And so things that go here are, I will say, okay, I have this homework assignment, or I have, say, a conference I need to go to during one week, or, um, like I have to proctor on a given night for a midterm or something. Um, all of that information goes here and then it's really easy for me to go through and be like, oh, well, there's a couple of dots um, here in week two. What do they correspond to? Oh, these things. I'll go and do those. And then on my second page, I have my schedule. And as well as a list of any holidays that happen during the term, I don't have my academic calendar in front of me, so I can't fill the holidays in. Uh, but this is so that I can go back to my calendex and mark it as no school that day. Um, and then my schedule I haven't filled in, in part for privacy and in part because I actually don't know my full schedule yet. Because um, I am a graduate student, I also teach, and I don't know my teaching schedule at the moment. Then the crux of the matter um, for any graduate student or anyone who does research um, for a long-term basis is figuring out a system that works for you in terms of research tracking. Um, this is what I kind of started about halfway through this past term because I was unhappy with how I was previously tracking my research. And so, um, the idea behind this and why it's split up the way it is, is that I meet with my, um, my PhD advisor about once a week, and usually from those meetings, we come up with about two main goals that I should accomplish that week um, as I go forward. And so the two columns are intended for me to, at the top right, main goal number one, main goal number two, and then the extra space there is for me to break those main goals down into more accomplishable and measurable steps. So that way I don't feel so overwhelmed with just being like huge main goal, huge main goal, and being like, okay, I know I only have two things on my to-do list, but they're huge main things. Um, so this is just to help me break it down a little bit further and make it easier for me going forward in my research. Um, but yeah, like, term starts here pretty quickly. And so I just wanted to get this done and ready to go for next week. Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope for those of you who are in school and are trying to figure out a setup for yourselves in your bullet journal that you learned something from here and who knows, maybe have a way to um, incorporate some of the stuff that I introduced. Um, and if not, that's a totally okay too. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more, um, either plan with me's or anything related to Zentangling or uh, just like maybe how I do some of my research notes on occasion, um, let me know and subscribe um, to my channel. But thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week and a wonderful, wonderful spring term. <laughs> Bye!